Many of you out there are unhappy with your current career, but you're not sure if now is the time to make a change. In this video, I'm gonna help you clarify if now is the time for you to take the leap. I'm Michelle Richter. I'm an ICF certified personal development coach who's helped many entrepreneurs and creatives get unstuck and find more purpose in their life and work. So if you're interested in working with me or for more info on what I do, head on over to my website, michellerichter.com. For the best info on how personal development can help you live your life with purpose and meaning, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Many of my clients come to me because they're feeling unsatisfied or unfulfilled in the work that they're doing and they know that something needs to change but they don't know exactly what or how. I myself went through this process. I left a 15 year career to start over in an entirely new industry. So I, I wanna share some of my own perspective on this as well. So we're gonna look at this from three angles. Number one, something in you needs to change. Number two, the work needs to change. And number three, maybe it's a combo of both. My own experience with this process is that I left my previous career for my current one because I started to feel my passion was waning. I went from living and breathing what I did to kind of dragging my ass a little bit. So I got curious about this, I'm like where did my motivation go? And I started to look at my lifestyle. And at that point in my life, mid twenties, you know, I was out five out of seven nights a week. I wasn't taking care of the meat suit. You know, there was no nutrition, no consideration of that or exercise. And overall, like my energy levels were pretty low. So despite the fact that I had, you know, great friends and family in my life and, and a lot of fun, um, the day-to-day -day tasks were starting to um, suffer. So in terms of household chores, taxes, you know, this kind of stuff was all kind of in the background. And I was living with this constant feeling of dread, just like a low level simmer, which was really draining a lot of my energy. So I recognized that it was time to make some major lifestyle shifts. So I, I changed my diet, I got into yoga, I started staying home a little more and just ignoring the FOMO. And right away that freed up a lot of energy and I could feel a bit of that motivation and drive starting to come back when it came to my work. So before you pull the plug on your current career, check in with your lifestyle, check in with your close relationships, your diet, exercise, your sleep patterns, your stress levels. See if there's any adjustments that you can make in that realm first. Remember, everywhere you go, there you are. So if there's any big life changes that you wanna see happen, it has to start in you. Are you feeling me on this one? Let me know in the comments below if you're relating to what I'm saying. Now, you might be very clear that work is the area of your life that needs to change. So if that's the case, I'm gonna get you to get out your writing tools and we're gonna make up a good old fashioned pros and cons list. So in your pros and cons list, we're gonna clarify what exactly is not working for you in your current job and what is. And uh, if you can't come up with any pros in your, in your current situation, then fill that with the qualities that you would prefer to have in your job. What are the aspects of a career that would really light you up and have you feel joy in going to work every day? Get detailed in both of your lists, like zoom in to the, the minor details and zoom out to the big picture as well. Some examples of pros could be working in a team environment, having flexibility of your schedule, being creative, having a positive impact, seeing projects through to completion, whatever works for you. And cons could be the people that you work with or a lack of meaningful impact or the commute that you have to take or um, rigidity of your schedule. Really just explore either what's bringing you up or bringing you down. Now look at this list. What is it within your realm of control and what isn't? And is there a way to create a shift in your current situation? When I started to doubt my career path, I actually moved to a new workplace entirely and that completely reinvigorated my devotion to my work and actually bought me a few more years while I figured out my next steps. So sometimes what is needed in the present 
is a shift in your environment rather than an entire career change. Another way to check in with whether you're on the right path or not is to look at the long term. Imagine yourself in this career five, 10, 20 years down the road. What comes up when you, when you picture that? Is there uh, an opportunity for growth in your current career? Is there a different position or realm within your career that you could be working that's going to be more in alignment with that pros list or not? Personally, when I looked at my previous career in the long term, I saw limited avenues for my growth and of the options that existed, none of them really aligned with my pros list. And a lot of that is because over the 15 years of my career, my values had shifted, my lived experience had grown, and I was no longer the same person that I was when I initially embarked on that previous career. So consider all of this as you're exploring what to do with your current career situation. Okay, so we've looked at what changes might need to happen within you, and we've looked at what changes might need to happen within your workplace. And now we need to consider that it might be a combination of both. We tend to want to separate our personal lives from our professional lives, and this doesn't always work because you are at the center of your life, no matter what area we're talking about. It's important to take care of yourself so that you can bring your best you to any area of your life. At any given point, it's useful to check in with the various aspects of your lifestyle so that you can see what's serving you and what could be improved. I hope this video has brought you some clarity on whether or not it's time to make that career change and some steps that you can take in the meantime. And if you wanna take a closer look at the various areas of your life and how they're serving you, then I have a tool that can help you with that, that actually breaks your life down into nine different categories for your examination. So you can download that, the link is in the description below, or you can head over to my website, michellerichter.com, and sign up for my mailing list, and you will get your own copy right in your email. Also, check out my website for more info on how we can work together. I'd love to work with you, and it doesn't matter where in the world you are, thanks to the wonders of technology, all we need is a screen or a phone to get started. I post new videos every Tuesday, so check back in, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, because we want to get the good word of personal development out there to the world.